16 lab-grown human brains make up the world's first living computer. What the f***? The startup behind the biocomputer, FinalSpark, says it uses a million times less power than a digital computer processor. FinalSpark even launched an online neuro platform so researchers can conduct experiments with the computer remotely through a server right now. The reason they're able to create a biocomputer is because of organoids, which are simplified mini versions of real organs, a fairly new technology often used for medical research. Organoids are made in a dish using cells from a living organism that can grow to mimic the forms and functions of an organ. So by taking cells from a human brain, Brain, this team of researchers is able to create many brains that they can use for computing. And there's even a system that provides food and water to the cells to keep them alive, but only for around 100 days. FinalSpark claims the bioprocessors they're making consume a million times less power than traditional digital processors. With the rise of AI, researchers are searching for ways to cut back on energy consumption to protect the climate and our infrastructure. According to technological research and consulting firm Gartner, AI is predicted to consume 3.5% of global electricity by 2030. That's more electricity than the entire country of Germany uses right now. But the human brain only uses a tiny fraction of the energy of a digital computer, making it a viable solution for AI's energy problem. But why does this make me feel bad for the organoid brains? Will they get depressed? What if they gain consciousness? This practice definitely raises ethical questions. There isn't much evidence the brains could become conscious, but the research is too new to know for sure. What do you think?